monsters and the depths of our oceans. These two seem to go together perfectly. Since some of our earliest history, we've considered the seas to be dangerous and full of beasts. And we know this because of the sheer amount of monsters we've imagined, like the kraken, sea serpents and anything else in between. And I'm here today to say at one point we definitely had titanic monsters roaming our oceans. Granted, they weren't as large as the modern day kaiju, aka the blue whale, or anywhere near as creepy as the giant squid of today, but instead what roamed our seas were rather bizarre, and they were the marine reptiles. Sure we still have some reptiles roaming our oceans like the sea snakes and crocodiles of today, but none of those sadly get to the sizes of the beasts of the past. And that's indeed the topic for the video. We'll be looking at the largest marine reptiles to ever roam our oceans. And as well, like in the other videos, which you should totally go and check out, I'll be assigning them into five different tiers. With one star being in the bottom and also having the smallest of these reptiles, and five stars being at the top with it having the largest of these reptiles. But which reptiles will actually be included? Well, to be classed as a mega marine reptile, they have to weigh a minimum of six tons. And they also have to be fully aquatic, which means no semi-aquatic like Dinosuchus or other crocodilians will be involved, and instead the main families we'll be looking at are the Mosasaurs, Pliosaurs, Plesiosaurs and the Ichthyosaurs. And now starting with our list, we have the one star reptiles, aka the smallest of the smallest. But although these guys are small, they're still the mega marine reptiles, so these guys range from 6 to 8 tons in weight. And first on our list is Megacephalosaurus. This North American Pliosaur starts off our list at 6.3 tons in weight and 8.5 meters in length, which makes it the smallest on the list, but it's still an impressive size, considering the largest great white shark to ever exist was only 6.1 meters and 2 tons, meaning this guy dwarfs the greatest fear of most people swimming by about 3 times, and he's still only the smallest. Next we have a reptile from a different family, and that's Prognathodon. This mosasaurid weighed 6,970 kilos and reached lengths of 11.69 meters, which is only slightly off the size of the largest land carnivores, which I'm going to say is crazy to be honest, because one of the smallest mega marine reptiles is already at sizes comparable with the largest mega theropods, like T-Rex, Giga and Spino. Moving along, we have our next reptile, and this is one I can't really say the name of, but I believe it said Stenorankosaurus, but I could be wrong, and it's 7 tons and 8.5 meters, it was definitely huge. And as well for this Columbia Pliosaur, we actually have two different specimens, one being an adult at the size I mentioned prior, and the other being a juvenile, which is much, much smaller. And the last reptile on our bottom tier is Titan, aka the Titan of the Seas. And Titan is definitely the correct way when describing this creature. At 10 meters in length and 8 tons, this guy took up the apex predator role in its home of Morocco, with it feasting on pretty much anything it could get its jaws on, be it plesiosaurs, fish, turtles, or even other mosasaurs. And now we've finished the bottom tier, we can move up into our two star reptiles. And for this group, the parameters to be included have increased. So now the weights range differently, instead of being 6 to 8 tons, it's now 8 to 10 tons. Meaning these guys pretty much weigh the same as two adult orcas. And starting off this tier, we have Pliosaurus rossicus. This beast roamed the seas of the Russian late Jurassic at 10 tons in weight and 9.6 meters in length, which made it 100% one of the top dogs in its area. After Pliosaur, we have Tylosaurus, and this large Mosasaurid weighed 10 tons as well, but it got to larger lengths, of about 13 meters, which makes it the same length as the largest T-Rex to ever exist, and also the same length as some Viking longships. Next after Tylosaur, we have the most famous Mosasaurid, and possibly the most famous marine reptile of all time, and that's Mosasaurus Hoffmanni. This beast weighed 10 tons in weight, and as well reached 13 meters in length. But this size could actually increase in the coming years, with many researchers believing Mosasaurus could be larger than 13 meters, which would make it the largest Mosasaurid we know of. But until the new papers come out, Mosasaurus will be staying at 10 tons and 30 meters. Moving up again, we now have the three star reptiles, and these guys are huge, with them ranging 10 to 12 tons in weight, which makes them about the same size as the average T Rex on the low ends, aka 10 tons and the same size as the largest T-Rex, aka Goliath, at 12 tons. And first we have the largest plesiosaur to ever exist, which is known as Astronectes. This prehistoric sea serpent weighed 10.7 tons and reached 10.2 meters in length, from head to tail. And although Yormungandr and the sea serpents of fantasy are indeed myths, 
This guy definitely brought the idea to life when he was roaming the seas, but with a slightly different twist. And that's because Astronectes could actually be a filter feeder, meaning it could act somewhat similar to whale sharks and other filter feeding whales of today, which would definitely make for a very bizarre looking creature. Next in this tier, and also the last, because this tier is quite small, is Megnosaurus Rex. And with the name directly translating to King of the Large Swimming Lizards, you'd expect this to be the largest. But sadly, it's not, and instead it's more of a mid-range marine reptile, with it weighing 11 tons and reaching 9.9 meters in length, which gave an incredibly stocky and powerful build, perfectly adapted to hunting other marine reptiles. After we've finished up the small tier of the three-star reptiles, we can now move into the four stars, with us now getting onto the big dogs, with these titans also getting a size increase, this time with them weighing 12 to 16 tons in weight. And starting off in this tier, we have Moncuarosaurus. This beast, when fully grown, could sustain weights of 13,000 kilos, which makes it incredibly stocky, like its cousin in the Pliosaur family tree, so it's perfectly adapted to hunting other marine reptiles. After Moncuarosaurus, we have another Pliosaur, and that's Pliosaurus cavani, which also weighs 13 tons, but it's slightly larger in length, at 10.4 meters which I admit isn't really a lot, but it does mean it scores higher on the list than its cousin. And next, we're still not done the Pliosaur family tree, because Cytriosaurus is next, and this titan is huge to say the least, at 15,000 kilos and 10.4 meters in length, meaning this Pliosaur is equivalent to 19 great white sharks in mass, which really just shows you how colossal these beasts could get. And next again is another Pliosaur, and this one is possibly the most famous of all the Pliosaurs to exist, and that's Chronosaurus. This titan also weighs 15,000 kilos, aka the same as 19 great white sharks, but it reached 11.5 meters in length, making it the second largest Pliosaur we know of today. And the largest would be Pliosaurus fungi, which measured at 16,000 kilos and 11.1 meters in length, which would have made it the apex predator of its location because let's face it, nothing's trying to mess with a 16 ton living submarine. But before we get into the top spots, which are the tier 5s, I want to go over some honourable mentions first. And first in this list is Lyperidon Ferox. And I know people joke a lot about Spinosaurus being nerfed, and it going from a T-Rex killing Super Dino to just a simple fisherman, but Lyperidon had possibly the biggest downgrade in all of history, with it originally in walking with dinos being sized at 25 metres, and 150 tons, but in the modern day it's been moved down by a lot, with the real Lyperidon only being 6.5 meters in length and 2,900 kilos in weight. Pliosaurus Carpentier is also on the honorable mentions list, but not because it's an oversized movie monster and more because it barely misses the mark to be classed as a mega marine reptile. At 4,600 kilos and 7.5 meters, he was incredibly large with it being over the size of most modern day apexes but sadly, it just didn't stack up to the rest of the reptiles in the video. Temenodontosaurus is the first ichthyosaur I've mentioned today, and sadly, although this guy is 10 meters in length, I couldn't really find an up-to-date and viable weight estimate, which means placing this guy on the list would be very hard, because if you have a look at Prognathodon and Moncuarosaurus, both are 12 meters in length, but they had an 8 ton weight difference, which means Temenodontosaurus could either be in tier 1 or all the way in tier 4 so you can kind of see the reason why I didn't include it. Another reptile we have here in the honourable mentions list is here for a very different reason, and that's Predator X. It's not that this reptile got downsized or it barely misses the mark, and instead it just got a name change, and Predator X is just Pliosaurus fungi, which we mentioned earlier. And the final reptile on our honourable mentions is Ichthyotitan. This could possibly be the largest non-cetacean to ever exist, but that does come with a catch. And it's that I said possibly, since this beast has many, many different size estimates, with some saying 22 meters in length, others saying 25, and even some scaling up to 30 to 35 meters. But because of the low fossil evidence we have for the species, and the many disagreements researchers have when sizing this creature up, we have very few valid weight estimates. And that's the main reason I couldn't properly rank it. Because let's face it, if your titan probably is the largest, but without an official weight estimate, I don't feel like I want to put it on the list. And now finally, we move on to our last tier, with these 5 star animals being over 16 tons in weight. 
and although Pliosaurs have utterly dominated the list so far, with some Mosasaurs also taking up the top spot, sadly in this tier, there's an entirely new family taking up all the ranks. And first is Shonisaurus. This ichthyosaur, like its larger cousin we'll see next, roamed the oceans of the late Triassic, at around 205 million years ago. This beast weighed 29,700 kilos, making it close to 30 tons in weight, and in length it reached 15 meters, meaning this creature not only outsized most dinosaurs in length, but also in weight. And even though Shonisaurus is rather impressive, its larger cousin Shastasaurus was an utter monster. This ichthyosaur weighed 81,500 kilos, meaning Shastasaurus was equivalent to 22 orcas, and in length it also only got bigger at 21 meters, which rewards it the title of the largest marine reptile of all time. And this was my list for the largest marine reptiles to ever exist. Obviously in the future this will be inaccurate, because that's how science works, everything changes, but for now it's pretty solid. So if you have enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and if you're feeling extra generous I do now have a Patreon. It's pretty bare at the moment, but in the future I will be updating it with video scripts, early access snippets, and a custom voting system to picking you upcoming videos. So if you do feel generous, make sure to please check it out. But do remember, it is just optional. Don't feel forced into doing it. It's completely your choice if you donate at all. But other than that, have a nice rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.